Well, so here's this cool thing that I just learned, uh, or at least I'm in the process of learning, when it comes to adding um, a time signature change in Logic Pro X. Uh, I'm a total hack, so a lot of this stuff kind of excites me, um, even though it's probably very much second nature to everybody else. But so here's a project I'm working on, and it's got a couple of time or uh, time signature changes. So this one in particular, I'm I was struggling with. <laughs> See how we flip there. Um, it goes from regular six eight, and there's a. Uh, I'm assuming it's a, just a quick bar of three. So um, what I learned is that you can basically just zero right into uh, where that you hear that flip over change. So we're gonna center right in there on bar number twenty one, and then here we have a drop down for all of the um, uh, different things that we can add. Uh, all these things signature is what we're going to add and we can actually do a plus sign and what I learned is that um, this is actually showing you okay um, what do you want to make it you want to make it three four you want to make it uh, in this case we're going to be making it three um, over eight instead of six over eight so it's just a quick three beats that we're going to add right there and then it's only that one section, so. so here, and it goes right back here. It heads back in a 6 8. So we're going to add that and make that 6 8. Oops, 8. Say OK, and then it flips back to normal. So, in terms of the drummer, um, I'm going to have to take this out and probably reinsert. Um, it's usually pretty smart to figure out what it needs to do there because there's a uh, time signature change but let's listen to it and see what happens bad. I mean it sort of landed on its feet a little bit which is cool um, so yeah that's basically what I wanted to show you is that you, it's as easy as just sort of inserting finding the right spot Obviously, it all needs to be mapped appropriately, and probably in another video, I'm going to show you how I got to that because this was just a menace to get the right uh, tempo for, um, and I had to use adapted tempo as it says right there, but um, I'll make another video about that soon. Thanks.